Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a first impressions on the Tepe Design Hornet 2.0. This is a loaner uh, from Justin, OCD for EDC. He's kind of a, a new buddy um, through Instagram and YouTube and whatnot. Uh, we talk shit on each other, which is always appreciated. Uh, Molly does most of the shit talking on me, but... Uh, Justin obviously joins in, and uh, it's always a good time when people give you shit, you know, because um, I like to dish it out as well. So uh, this, yeah, this is a Hornet. So uh, Justin thought this would be one I would like to check out. Uh, he's left-handed like I am, so he knows the struggle, and uh, he picked out a couple of cool liner lock knives he thought I might like, and this is one of them. So, um, whoops. This is a carbon fiber and titanium knife, obviously, with M390 steel, uh, ceramic ball in the clip, which is fantastic. I love this clip, guys. Um, a flipper tab right here. Uh, nice design on it. No jimping or anything, but it's not pokey. Uh, it has a hole for deployment, which I'll get to. It's just not my favorite. Um, interesting design right here. On those poon spoons, you got some speed holes for the, uh, uh, the, uh, Jesus, what am I trying to say? Huh? I can't remember the word, but I'm trying to make fun of somebody, so that is pretty fucking terrible. Anyway, I was making fun of those people who, uh, camp and shit. God damn it, what do they call those fucking people? You know, they camp and they cut wood and they whittle and they, and they think they're fucking woodsmen, but they're just you know dicking around um anyway i feel like an idiot but somebody will put it in the comments for me um so yeah the speed holes are so you can attach this to a spear or um you could maybe like make a fire through there or some shit um but yeah so overall this design is pretty cool i, I find it very interesting i'm not usually the biggest fan of handles that thin out more and more as they go um because it just inherently feels weird in my hand like ergonomically it feels like it's just easily ripped out and it also just feels weird to have it constantly taper down and get thinner it just doesn't feel comfortable or secure in my hand um yeah so you know but it, this does feel good um it's not bad or anything you have a kind of flipper toil if you want to kind of pinch it like this you have good control obviously be weary of the blade um uh, don't necessarily recommend that to everybody um and yeah so ergos are okay just gotta remember it thins out it does kind of hook at the end though so it catches you depending on your hand size obviously um this blade is very interesting i do, i guess it's a trailing point it's not a drop point i don't think um, it kind of comes up, so clip point, trailing point, has a bunch of harpoons, so a bunch of poon spoons in there for you. Um, yeah, just cool. I, I like the design, I do. Um, it's not necessarily something I would pick up uh, personally, but I do think it's a cool design. You can see right here, it says Tepe Designs, and this is number 21, and uh, the steel was somewhere, it was on the flipper tab, right? m390 yep yeah man that's still bothering me i can't remember what the hell i wanted to say you got it's at the tip of my tongue starts with a b i think um you fucking uh, you fucking uh, god damn it ah uh, bushcrafter no is it no bushcraft yeah maybe it is bushcraft i don't know it's something bush you know what i'm saying gotta get that bush uh, anyway, I'm moving along now. So, um, yeah, action. Let's talk about that. The flipper tab, detent, dialed. I mean, it really is dialed. Yes, I can fail it if I want to, like, really try to fail it. Um, but if you pull that flipper tab, it's going to deploy, right? Um, and they dialed it perfectly to go along with the hole for deployment because you got to get that right. And they did. Uh, that hole for deployment is a little bit strong, which is nice. Uh, not too strong, just you can feel it. You can build that pressure, and then it pops. Um, 
And that's something I truly, truly appreciate in a knife. That's why I love my Field Duty so much, the Field Duty EDC, um, the F5.5. I just love knives that have a detent that pops, um, as opposed to me having to grip it and rip it. Like the other knife uh, Justin sent me, you have to kind of get in, you have to just grip it and rip it. You don't want to apply pressure, let it build up, and then, you know, shoot it out. It's just not going to go your way uh, or feel very satisfying, right? But this, bang, just feels good. But on the downside of that, the whole shape is weird. Uh, I just don't like it. My finger wants to go up here, and then I'm up, and then when I flick it, my finger rides up and hits the frame, so I flick it, and my finger's dragging through the frame there and kind of gets caught a little bit. Um, and it just feels kind of weird. But um, you kind of get used to it, I feel like. Now that I've had it for a little bit, you kind of end up right here. You want to end up right where that kind of angle is. And then you flick it by the time you get there, and then you, you don't even touch the frame. So there's kind of a method to it. I, I do wish it was shaped a little bit differently maybe uh brought it down a little bit and got rid of that kind of angle there just kind of made it more of an oval and brought it down to where you're not gonna have to worry about that um frame there uh, the closing action is fantastic it basically just dropped shut uh there's no blade play maybe the slightest hint but uh really nitpicking there on that let's cut some shit with this blade it is a stone wash blade, really nice one. <clears throat> oh yeah. Not quite as slicey as that Tucson I had. Uh, I mean, it really is good, but that Tucson, man, you can hear a little bit of resistance there when it cuts, you hear that that Tucson just, like, tore through shit no, with no noise. I mean, it made some, but you get what I'm saying. This is just me not knowing how to cut. There you go. Look at this. Butter, baby. Butter. Yeah. Very, very good cutter. Very, very good edge. Lots of edge, too, right? I mean, that's a big boy. I can get something out to compare it to. And then we can close this out. All right. Here is the bug out. So you can see it dwarfs the bug out. Uh, the Leon Ma Field Duty might be a good size comparison. Look at that. Wow, yeah. I didn't realize how big this thing was. This is a Field Duty size knife. Um, what else do I have? Something on the more budget end. I have the Solaris here. Um, definitely bigger than the Solaris. So, I mean, it is, um, it's a pretty big boy. Uh, Chavez 229. Bigger than a Chavez. So, yeah, it's in that Fuel Duty class, man. Which is really, really cool, actually. Um, I didn't realize it was that big of a boy. Let's see when it's closed. Bigger than the field duty. Wow. Interesting. Was not expecting that. I love this knife. This is the epitome of the D10. I was talking about. Ugh. It's just so good. So good. But yeah, that is the Hornet 2.0 from Tepe Designs. Uh, I believe this is OEM by uh, Best Tech. If I'm not mistaken, Best Tech did the OEM work on that. But don't hold it to me. Um pretty sure though it's best tech and they did a great job this is uh, one of the better pieces i've uh, handled that best tech has done the work on uh, and part of that is the design you know and i love that it's a liner lock it just makes things so much easier as a lefty uh, that carbon fiber is really really nice um love the quality of that and the feel um, it's very well finished they did a great job chamfering uh, a couple of and a bump right there is it meant to be cut in like that i can feel something oh yeah it is meant to be there yep kind of cuts out so 
no issue there pretty flush on the uh, backspacer area um, the blade is very nicely stone washed i would prefer a uh, satin but this is a very very good stone wash um yeah i'm really digging this so that is the tepe hornet 2.0 big thank you to justin from ocd for edc he sent me this guy he sent me this tucson also a tepe design and then he sent me this shaman with the cme i've already reviewed the shaman so i'm probably just gonna um do like a overview once I'm done with this of it and and kind of show that tell the differences to me on shaman with CME and without um, I do have to say I don't like it at really <laughs> I never did like the shaman um, it's definitely it's almost unusable without a CME so the fact that I can now use it um, is nice uh, I can use it one-handed and everything um, but it's still kind of hard I'm getting the hang of it though you got to push that CME down the right angle, you know, and then whip it. I just feel like my fingers are going to get in the way and get cut at some point. It's just heavy as a son of a bitch. So, um, just not my favorite spider co, I guess. But it's cool to try one out with the CME. So, I will wrap up all of these reviews in the coming uh, weeks, I guess. I have a, a vacation coming up. So, um, yeah. But uh, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will catch you later.